At some point, Russia was called an evil empire, a prison of peoples, and number one threat. Today, history is repeating itself. After decades of absence, Russia is returning to the big geopolitical game. That means that for the West, the Russians are tyrants and aggressors once again. But while the leaders of Western nations are going crazy over the mythical Russian threat and competing in methods of Russia's containment, under the dictatorship of the true aggressor, there is blood being spilled all over the globe. Right now. As you are watching this video. Somewhere in the Middle East, ISIS fighters are executing people they consider infidels. This terrorist organization is made up of people that initially were supported by the United States. Perhaps at this moment, yesterday's pro-American opposition forces are preparing another terrorist attack. Right now, in the Mediterranean waters, on its way to Europe, there is a vessel full of refugees from North Africa. These people are fleeing the war in their motherland that was initiated by the US and its allies. Right now, in one of America's prisons located throughout the world, hundreds of people suffer from torture and humiliation. People that were kidnapped by the CIA far away from US borders. Right now, in some Russian town, an overdose of Afghan heroin has killed yet another drug addict. As a result of NATO's occupation of Afghanistan, production of heroin became the main source of income for the Afghan people. Right now, somewhere in eastern Ukraine, under leadership of American military instructors, local neo-Nazis are fulfilling the ideas of Stepan Bendera. Ideas that in civilized countries are called genocide of civilian population. Meanwhile, in the Donbass region, ravaged by artillery, bomb shelters are hiding seniors, women and children. Their cities and villages are being shelled on orders from a puppet government that meticulously follows instructions from Washington. Right now, across the entire globe, Hundreds of thousands of people are suffering as a result of US and NATO interventions. But the West continues to label Russia as an aggressor. Of course, one could call this video Russian propaganda. But no one denies the fact that after the end of the Cold War, American imperialism has victimized millions of innocent people. Так и хочется спросить тех, кто создал такую ситуацию. Вы хоть понимаете теперь, чего вы натворили?